let's look at a, a vehicle suspension, right? So we have a the only vehicle I can draw is like a 1940 CJ2A. So there's a frame of a CJ, although I guess technically they're weave springs, but whatever, you get the idea. So we've got a hub, we've got a wheel, and we have our suspension. Um, and we have a wheel and tire. All right, so let's find the, uh, let's say, let's find the stiffness of the, of the wheel assembly. So for a vehicle and tire, um, we can model this at a single degree of freedom. How do we model this at a single degree of freedom? How would you draw this? You want the mass to be above it. Oh, so let's find, that's, that's clever. Uh, let's find the, so we have the natural frequency of the wheel assembly, right? So we're going to consider this to be fixed. It doesn't actually, but does it matter? Like mathematically? No, right? You could draw it above or below. One way makes more sense pictorially, but mathematically you'll get the same answer. Um, but let's say we have this is fixed and, and this is whatever. So can I draw the fixity at the top? It doesn't matter, um, but kind of like that. And then our spring and our mass. Right? So the mass of the wheel is measured to be 300 kilograms. Um, and the oscillations are 10 radians per second. So what is the stiffness of the wheel assembly? Yeah, so let's, I can draw that out. So M is equal to that. And then R, that'd be omega N. Right, so we have a, we have a natural frequency of this mass that we can measure. And our, our suspension is a compound um, system, right? You've got springs, you've got dampers. So we kind of want to just find the equivalent stiffness of it. So anyone? Want to tell me how to do that? Say that again. Uh, I'm just using omega n equals square root of k over n. So what does that become? K equals uh, omega n squared times m. Omega n squared. M, and so uh, what'd you get? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Okay, so let's go thirty thousand kilonewtons per meter. Does everyone agree with that? Okay. Newtons per meter. All right. So what are the units of radians per second then? So actually, let's let's walk through this in a more um, detailed manner, but what are the what are the units of radians per second? Or radians? What is radians? It's it's a rotation, right? So is it a base unit? Um, 
yeah, it's dimensional list is how we um, how we phrase that. So, right? so let's say let's go let's go with a note. So radians are a dimensional list qu quantity. Um, so as such, um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna inverse it around. Just go mass omega n squared becomes kilograms per second squared times meter over meter, right? And so why do we have, why do we multiply it by the meter over meter? Well, the, yeah, it's just one, right? So we've, we've added that arbitrarily at this point, but why, why do we add it arbitrarily? Is that part of trying to find the common denominator? So, we have kilogram times meter per second squared that allows us to get a newton, and that allows us to get a way to express stiffness with newtons per meter. So I'm going to do to you what my professors did to me. You're limited to like 20, 20 answers a class. Okay. okay. Uh, has anyone ever told you you should be an engineer? Yes. Yeah, it's a compliment. It really is. But um, yeah. They do that to me all the time. They still do that to me in faculty meetings too. So don't feel bad. Um, but yeah. So, and now I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. It's not Aaron. It's Brandon. what? Brandon. 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 What's your last name? Sellers. Sellers. Brandon. Sellers. Where are you from? Uh, Camden. Camden. So that's northeast of here. Northwest. Northwest. Brandon Sellers, Camden. Okay, I do that because it gives me a picture of a state, and I have a picture memory, and I can try to remember your name. Brandon Sellers. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, we add this because we need newtons per meter for our spring stiffness, right? And this function, this function here, mass times omega n, doesn't give us that. Well, then we have units that don't line up, right? Again, we're engineers, not mathematicians, so we're doing this. It will annoy your mathematician friends if you have any. Um, so we can do that. So that's added to the, the spring stiffness can be expressed as, so m over m is added. So spring stiffness. is expressed as kilogram per meter per second squared, right? And what's kilogram per meter per second squared? Newton. Multiplied by one over meters right, which gives you newtons per meter. Pretty cool. 